Hi everyone, it's Carolyn again with another channel message from the Light Keepers, a group of angelic beings I channel on a regular basis. So, today's channel is on, I think, self-power is what I'm going to say. Um, anyway, before we get going, again, just a couple of, of reminders. I've got a link down below for a free gift for you on how to create flow in your body for health and wellness. Combined package of about six things that you can do to create flow, which is the foundation of wellness within our body, coming from my distance energy healing business. And then also we have a Facebook, Purple Rain Healing. I want to make sure that you have the opportunity to go over there and join me for the smaller channels that I receive. Kind of poetic sentences or meditations, you might say. I post those three or four times a week for your enjoyment. So head on over there and join me. Also, if you're on Higher Self, you may have to wait for me to realize that she posted the video so I can comment, put the link in, or head on over to my own YouTube channel, Carolyn Zeiser, when you're done watching videos on Higher Self. All right, so today, I'm going to get into the channel, and as usual, I'm going to give you my takeaways. All right, again, I kind of titled this Self Power. Have faith in all you came to be. It is within that you are, the belief of yourself and the strength of your nature, of your steps forward are all brightness on your path. You have all the answers deep within. Search within, not without. Find what is coming your way and understand the knowing you have, for you will be presented the opportunity to dig deep, listening to yourself, the true knowing of all, rather than without. For when one listens from without of oneself, of one's own high nature and understanding, it is the external world that guides the life one leads. This is not what you came here for. You came to live your own life, find your own answers, and seek the deep knowing and understanding of trust and faith in yourself. Be your own following. Follow yourself. For you are wise beyond all knowing. You must believe, have faith, and look it within for your guidance. For the outside world, when followed fully, is like a noose around one's neck pulling along to and fro. You go where you are told to go, believe what you are told, do what you are told. It is only seeking within yourself, for the answers are within. And you will have this opportunity to use your great knowing as the days breeze by. Seek within, for you will see the great comfort in trusting in oneself, and using the world outside your doorstep as an opportunity for learning. But always understand that you are your own teacher, your own knowledge keeper, your own great seer, to follow through the course of your day. Be the strength that you are, understanding all that you brought forward for your greater good. In light and love, we leave you this day, the light keepers. So, I have a lot of thoughts about this, and it really has a lot to do with society, and I don't mean just in the U.S., which is where I'm from. But I'm, I really speak to, I think, across the world in that, and I don't mean everyone, but I think most of us don't feel powerful. I mean, once we go through this awakening process, it's this opening up to, oh, we're a lot more powerful than we ever imagined. But it's a process getting there. And still, I struggle. We all struggle with believing that we're more than... We have been taught we are because so much of this is about indoctrination in our societies, in our cultures, in how we've been brought up to be seen as or feeling as though we don't have power and that we have to succumb to others' wishes and dreams for ourselves. And, and then you can really get talking about institutions, right? Um, and I won't go there fully, but um, institutions can also our higher institutions um, can also, I believe, embed in us this feeling of not having power. When in reality, we're a divine spark and we have all that power. But oh my gosh, is it a process ever getting there to even first of all understand that? And then once you do feel it and you feel that power and you start getting your intuitive gifts, which is really cool, which you will get. I, I, I could near guarantee you, all of you will, if you haven't yet, you receive intuitive gift, um, it's like clairvoyance, um, clairaudience, you know, you can name it. There's lots of different ones out there, and it's part of the journey. But anyway, even when you get those, you're kind of like, I don't know, I, I'm not sure I'm worthy, or I'm not sure, is this really real? And 
blah, 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 right? That's stuff we do to ourselves. But, and I'm not blaming it all on the outside world, but again, so much of it is pounded into us and oftentimes we can seek the outside world's um, approval of us so often. And that turns us into the outside world, what the outside world wants for us. And that's like they say, is not how we're meant to live. So that's a little bit about my thoughts on this. And, and like I say, is through this awakening journey, through this light worker journey, we start th seeing things differently. We start reclaiming our power that we've always had throughout lifetimes and probably rarely realized it. And now's our opportunity to break out of that shell, break out of that, that you know, long-held teachings that have made us feel small because we're not small. We're really powerful. So I'll leave you with that today. Again, like, share, and subscribe, and I so appreciate you.